a lot of people have spoken up and they have said that the Luna Classic burn is now a joke. What do you guys think about this? Be sure to smash that like button. Um, this is going to be awesome. So the Luna Classic burn thing is a joke or not? You know that, right? But I think some people are taking it seriously. Like, I'm taking it kind of seriously. I think total Luna Classic supply is 6.5 trillion. Daily emissions are 500 million. So yeah, we need to burn at least 500 million plus per day. Burning Luna Classic is doing nothing. But what if we burn 3 trillion? Luna Classic is emitted as a staking reward. It comes from the Oracle pool, which is an address that currently holds 350 billion Luna Classic. So big, big amount of Luna Classic, right? Uh, about 500 million Luna Classic will be released from Oracle pool every day for the next two years. So yeah, it's going to be inflammatory for the next two years. Um, and right now, uh, what we're seeing is Luna Classic down here needs to burn 500 million Luna Classic per day just to balance out our inflation. So that's a Luna Classic validator. We use our yield to buy and burn Luna Classic stake with us. Uh, if they manage to balance out inflation and they burn additional 170 million, uh, 80 million Luna Classic per day, then after a year, we have burned 1% of our total supply. So the Luna Classic burn is a joke, it's an irony, etc. It's just for fun. Please don't take it seriously. But if you want to play long, that's fine. You just keep in mind that any Luna Classic price movements are not absolutely the direct consequence of the burn. I mean, yeah, but the thing is, when you have like lots of protocols, when you have lots of burns that do help the Terra Luna Foundation, that's when it gets serious. Terra Classic is not in a good place for many reasons. Terra Classic recovery is not likely. My opinion is a waste of resources to try to restore Luna, Terra Luna Classic. I think it's going to be like Ethereum Classic. It's always going to be, you know, behind. But it's going to be one of those projects that's still going to be uh, strong. So here, the last post, he says, The Terra project continues on with Terra Money 2.0. Terra 2.0 has dozens of developers of good team. Agree, also locked pool validator with a 0.00% 3 supply. Refusing to give up support and earning 13 million is pretty crazy. So Terra people grift at a very possible turn. Uh, they should give up control to Luna Classic holders. One token is one vote. No private pool stuff. To be fair, Terra Classic community is working to fix that, which they're going to be doing, you know, decentralized Terra Classic community. This proposal passed. When implemented, it will re-enable staking, which means the community can now vote and do whatever they want with Terra Classic. Val validators will be allowed in 60 days. The 60 days, it happens. You know, in 60 days is when we're going to be seeing that big, big burn. But uh, that being said, you know, uh, that's what we wanted to see. A lot of the, them burning. The chain itself is great. The last few days, we tried to support their community in my tweets. I simply pointed out that the potential issues, minting, forwarding, no create value, buying back, burning does, but it requires funds. Funds that the project team does not have. So Binance CEO, his opinion is burning does work, but you need to burn lots of it. And that's exactly what this post says. You need to burn lots of Terra Luna. It's true. It's not going to, you know, go to $1 overnight. That's just false. That's just a joke, you know? Um, that's imagination. But if it, we burn and burn and burn over time, over time, over time, that's when it seriously goes up. So if you guys want more content like this, more on Luna Classic Burns, be sure to smash that like button. And I'll keep you guys updated with the more news. As always, uh, smash that like and peace everyone. You know, what do you guys think about the burns? Let me know in the comments below.